Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to film my April favorites. This includes body care and also I have two items from Victoria's Secret but the rest of this video will be Bath and Body Works related. So if you're interested in that just go ahead and keep on watching and I will pull out the first item. So the first thing that I wanted to mention that I've been loving this month is the Waikiki Beach Coconut Body Cream. So this I actually tried a few years ago and I was not the biggest fan of this because it was pretty coconutty and I was just not into coconut as much. This also has kind of like an earthiness to it and you also get like a sandalwood or a vanilla type smell. Um, which I like now. So I picked this one up a few days ago and I fell in love with it. I'm not sure if the scent changed or if my um, taste changed because I love it. The notes in here say that this has tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, and sun bleached woods. So I've really loved using this one at night with the shower gel. This obviously is the full one. I have one in my room, but I loved it enough to get two. So this is something that I'm happy to like. I know a lot of people love this one and make it kind of a routine to pick one up every summer. That might be me from now on because I do really like this one and I think it's pretty unique. So definitely give this one a try if you haven't, but this is just something that surprised me and I've been really liking it. The next product that I wanted to mention is from Victoria's Secret. This is Victoria's Secret Very Sexy. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist. Now, I really like this because as the name states, this is a sexy scent. They have this in a perfume. This is the mist, like I said. The perfume is a little bit strong and kind of has like an alcohol type dry down which I don't like. I'm not super in to the perfumes at the moment but I like the way this smells so this is great. This has vanilla sandalwood in here. This also has some blackberries and clementine so it's just a really well-rounded scent. It's perfect if you're going out or for every day. Like I said sometimes I don't like Victoria's Secret mists but for things like this, I think they do this very, very well. This is something that I would go to Victoria's Secret instead of Bath & Body Works for, and I really appreciate it. This is great with any type of citrusy lotion. This is great with any type of warm vanilla lotion. Just goes really well with a lot, and I've been loving it. I'm probably going to buy another one when this one runs out because it's just that good. So I recommend this one if you've been looking for more of like a sexy mist that kind of doubles up as a perfume. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about is Sunshine Mimosa Spray. So Sunshine Mimosa is something I've really been loving. The whole line is amazing. I think Bath & Body Works has done a really great job with it. This reminds me of something they came out with maybe 2011, 2012, when they came out with a lot of those like happy, citrusy type fruity scents. They did a lot of those for a few years for a while. And I loved it then, I love it now. This says that it only has um, bubbly champagne and a citrus, but I pick up a little bit of like a candy floral perfumey mix. It's a little bit hard to describe, but this is amazing for the spring and summertime. It's not too strong, not too um, musky, and it's just great for every day. I have actually been comparing it with the perfume, and I will say the spray lasts just as long in my opinion, and it seems to be a little bit sweeter. So if you're into something like that, you would probably love this. I've been using this quite a bit. If I don't use the Victoria's Secret Very Sexy, I will use this. So this is something I'll use all summer long. All right. The next item I want to talk about is also Sunshine Mimosa scented. This is the Sunshine Mimosa Foaming Sugar Body Scrub. 
Now, I am totally amazed by this. Like, I'm shocked by this because I try to stay away from the Bath & Body Works scrubs because sometimes they're just a little bit too intense and they can dry my skin out. But the Foaming Sugar Scrubs, I've never tried before. They're really great because once they hit water in the shower, they do just lather like a really bubbly shower gel. And the kind of granules that they use, the sugar, it's not too harsh. And they do dissolve too. So you get a really nice scrub and they do not clog your sink or tub, which is great. So I've been in love with this. I bought another one. The one I'm using is in my shower. I've been using it for about two weeks and it's almost halfway full. So I will be picking up more of these. I will say I tried their um, Waikiki Beach Coconut Scrub. Actually, let me just pick it up so I can show you. I tried this one, this Sand and Sea Salt Scrub, and I do not like this formula just because it's very harsh on the skin, in my opinion, and like I said, clogged my sink. So I would try this one if you don't like this, but if you are looking for a... Um, scrub that scrubs a little bit deeper and doesn't have as much of a suds to it, then try this one. But the Sunshine Mimosa one by far is my favorite and I've been loving it all month long. All right. The next item that I have been liking a lot is Victoria's Secret also. This is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla. I am late. So a lot of people have liked this. I only tried it maybe a month ago, and I am shocked with how well Victoria's Secret has done this vanilla scent. This is amazing. I've been using it with Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Cream because I do need to use it up, and this is so nice that it actually makes me feel like I can smell more of the vanilla in the Bath & Body Works one when they're layered with each other. So this is just your traditional vanilla scent. This is definitely something I can tell right away is vanilla scented. It's nice and strong. It's sweet. It's not too um, artificial or fake smelling. And I really like it for nighttime because it does kind of put me in that more relaxed mood. So this is one I will wear all season long um, through the whole summer. Even though it's a vanilla scent, I think it's done so well that you could wear this year round. So I have been absolutely loving this one, and I highly recommend you guys to try it. It's just really nice. So that is the next favorite of mine. All right, moving on. Next, I have a candle. This is the Raspberry Mimosa candle from Bath & Body Works that just came out in that new collection. I actually picked up Pink Lemonade in this one and I preferred this one. So the Raspberry Mimosa candle does not have the biggest um, or strongest throw in the world. In my opinion, this is maybe a six or a seven in terms of the throw and how strong it is, which is different because usually I prefer a very strong candle in order for me to like it, but this is great. You can smell like a fruity raspberry juice drink. That's what I smell, like an icy raspberry juice, almost like a raspberry um, colada or something like that. And it's just great, it puts me in the mindset of spring and summer, and it burns wonderfully. I have not had any issues with it. The wicks don't um, kind of get small and they don't fall off in the candle. I have none of those issues at all. And it's really nice because once you burn it to about here, you can kind of see the candle start to light up and the flame kind of lights up the rack brown packaging, which is really pretty too. So I really like this one. Let me read you the notes really quick. So the notes say that this has sweet raspberries, Rosé, sorbet, a splash of champagne with natural essential oils. This is really great. I really like this one, and it's just relaxing and pretty for spring and summer. All right, the last favorite of mine is this lotion from Bath & Body Works. This is Endless Weekend. Now, this is retired, but you can still find it online. Not the mini. You can find the full size. 
This is beautiful. This has raspberry lychee sorbet and some floral notes also. But what's really nice about this is that it's kind of in between a fruity, sweet scent with a little bit of floral and a clean scent. It's right in the middle. It's perfect. It's really great for springtime. And this lotion in particular seems very moisturizing to me. I'm not sure if it's different from their lotion that they have out now, but this surprised me because normally the body creams are the ones with the strong scent and the moisturizing ones, but this works just as well. So I've really been loving this. This is also trying to kind of um, get me to stay away from the body creams a little bit because they can go bad and I've been having a few of mine go bad. I'm thinking about switching over to the body lotions just because they do last longer. Although I do prefer the formula of the body cream so I'll have to figure that out. But this is a great scent and the lotion and I've been enjoying it so much. So I highly recommend Endless Weekend. And that completes the video. Those are all of my favorites for April. I've been loving a lot of new products, so that's very exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and feel free to leave me any suggestions of other videos that you might like to see on this channel. Of course, Bath & Body Works is my passion and I love to make those videos, but even if you have suggestions that aren't Bath & Body Works related, I would love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.